Well, hello there. It's Saturday afternoon and we're in Camborne, sometime industrial epicenter of Cornish tin mining, and my latest forgotten town. Camborne, Cornwall. Population 21,985. Rank number 483. Asserts. So Camborne has more of an authentic character of an industrial town than any other in Cornwall is fitting, for this was the epicentre of Cornish mining. It was the home of Richard Trevithick and latterly of the Camborne School of Mines, the only school of metalliferous mining in Britain. But whilst the school may have relocated in recent times to the University of Exeter's campus between Penryn and Falmouth, I am accompanied today by Rosie, who studied here when it was still very much in Camborne. We are in Poundland, and I am speaking with Chris. He used to work here in the days that it was a wimpy. I'm going to go and have a look around so I can imagine where everything was. That's a trip down memory lane. Can we go see what they've done with the um, And whilst it may sound as though I'm idly drifting along on someone else's nostalgia tour, I feel that the 1990s are as important a part of Camborne's checkered history as any other decade. It was then that the South Crofty tin mine just outside the town became the county's final one to cease operations, drawing to a close this chapter of Cornish history which had begun way back in the Bronze Age, and even now threatens to be resurrected as talk of reopening South Crofty continues to this day. So we find the former old market house, very imposing. Site with a clock tower, three stories, now converted to weather spoons. Although my 90s informants tell me this was, at that time, the Barclay Centre, a source of hungry punters for Wimpy's wares, and according to contemporary footage I found online, a nightclub typical of that era, with all the musical and stylistic blandness that entailed, but chock full of punters having a jolly good time in their own ghastly way. <laughs> quick exploration around the grounds of the parish church reveals the weathered remains of some medieval crosses. But nonetheless, we read from a visitor's report of 1584 that, even then, there was still nothing here but a church standing amongst the barren hills. So how did we get from that to some drunken hoodlums cavorting to Shania Twain on the eve of the millennium? Well, Pevsner may be silent on developments in late 20th century entertainment preferences, but he does offer the following... By 1814, a small market settlement with the whole parish scattered over with cottages belonging to the miners. And the rest of the 19th century saw Camborne's booming expansion on land owned by the Vivians of Trelawar and the Bassets of Tahiti. You go and re-park and go into Weatherspoons. I feel you haven't had any of your local interaction. Well, I chatted to you. I chatted to people who used to work here. Whilst it's nice to receive useful editorial guidance, I think the best interests of all concerned, especially our four-legged companion Freddy, might best be served by a quick spin in the car nearby Carn Bray. This should provide archaeological interest in the form of the Neolithic tour enclosure for the human contingent, the chance of a jolly good runaround for the hound, and largely unbroken views around the Cornish Peninsula, including a decent contextualization of Camborne and Redruth for all of us. So, as we gaze down upon the visible history of Camborne's rapid 19th century growth and subsequent 20th and 21st century stagnation, we can at least appreciate from up here its setting against the glassy backdrop of the sea beyond. And whilst its liveliness in no way challenges that we will find later tonight at the Falmouth Sea Shanty Festival, the town was very far from being dead. Prior to departure, there is also time to note that, as town number 950, this marks not only completion of 95% of my overall challenge, but also halfway in the podcasted segment. See ForgottenTowns.org for full details. So, there's only a further 50 of these to put up with, and if that's not worth a sea shanty, I don't know what is. Get down, get down. 